I really don't want to talk about this movie. I honestly don't. You have to understand, I'm honestly just not all that passionate about Megamind itself. I think it's a good movie, it's definitely underrated, and it's great seeing it get the love and appreciation that it deserves, but with that being said, I don't think this is one of the all-time greats or anything. Everything it does is good, just not amazing. It's not the funniest movie I've ever seen, or the most emotional, or anything, really. I'd probably say it's on the same level of quality as Surf's Up, which is a movie that I absolutely adore. And also like Surf's Up, it got a soulless, ugly, cash-grabby sequel that no one asked for, and exists solely to bastardize the original property. Oh, but here's the thing about Surf's Up 2. It knows what it is. Say whatever you want about it. Hell, I plan to extensively very soon, but it, at the very least, is honest about what it is. It knows it's nothing but a commercial for the WWE and nothing else. It knows it has practically nothing to do with the original movie, save for just having the original characters in it and nothing else. Oh, and hey, at least it had the common decency to bring back some of the original voice talent. Diedrich Bader and Joe Hader returned to play both Tank and Chicken Joe, which like, yeah, could you imagine anyone else playing these characters? Like I said in my Surf's Up review, it was pretty pitch perfect casting. So I can already tell you with gusto that Surf's Up 2 Wave Mania is a better movie than Mega Mind 2 or Megamind vs. the Doom Syndicate, which is what I call the band Sonic Syndicate after 2010. If you know, you know. So, like I said earlier, I'm just not all that passionate about Megamind in general. I think it's a good movie, it's just not my favorite in any way. It's like an 8 out of 10, but not like Nomona 8 out of 10 where it was superb in some areas and a little weak in other areas. Every element of it was really good, but not great to me. But sweet Jefferson Davis, this shit makes the first movie look like the Prince of Egypt in comparison. What even happened with this movie? Especially when you learn that it was written by the same team who wrote the first movie. How is that even possible? But then you remember, oh wait, Dragons of Nine Realms was made from the same guy who made Dragons Race to the Edge. And just like that, I realized that past experience means nothing if it's coming from DreamWorks Animation Television. This is not the same DreamWorks Animation that made the greats like How to Train Your Dragon or The Last Wish or even more mid stuff like Ruby Gilman or Kung Fu Panda 4. It's just a side hustle meant to make quick, cash-grabby, direct-to-video slop that not even vultures would have a go at. And the biggest insult behind all of this? was the build-up. Like I said earlier, Surf's Up 2 Wave Mania knew what it was and didn't pretend to be anything else. Oh, but Megamind 2? Oh, hell no! Nah. It was a big deal that Megamind was getting a sequel after all of these years. DreamWorks took the extra mile to really hype this up, and people, including myself, were pretty ecstatic about it. Oh, how naive we were. Oh, how we were duped. And yeah, I think the general reaction to this movie's trailer speaks for itself. I got nothing new to say about this shit. Megamind 2? More like Nevermind 2, am I right guys? Ah? Eh? Ah? Eh? Still a better joke than anything this movie did. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I was first watching this movie, I physically and mentally checked out five minutes in. The moment this movie started off with such a banger joke like this. I see some old friends. I see new friends. I see friends who frankly should put some pants on and venture outside occasionally. I knew exactly what I was going to get from it. More dragons than nine realms. And not only was I correct, I was disappointingly correct. You have to understand, this movie didn't make me feel angry or frustrated or anything really. I felt absolutely nothing while watching this movie. There's a reason why I compare this movie to Dragons of Nine Realms, because this movie doesn't compare to the sheer utter levels of insane, insulting, and just plain degrading nature that was Dragons of the Nine Realms. It is pretty much of the same ilk though, in that there was clearly no passion or effort put into this at all. The animation, just like the Nine Realms, is garbage. Metrocity is a lifeless, empty void with no one in it. 
Background characters either never move or just do generic animation loops over and over again. The characters don't even move like real people. They're sluggish and awkward almost all of the time. Why is this random kid so small? Like, I thought at first that she was like five or six, but no, she's in middle school apparently. Why is she so small then? Like, shouldn't she be the same height as, say, the Nine Realms characters? I don't know, maybe she's just a midget, but still, she's just so abnormally small for someone of her age. It's weird. There's also the voice acting, which I don't want to harp on too much because these are actually pretty talented voice actors that they got to replace the originals. And all things considered, they do the best with what they got. Keith Ferguson voices Megamind, who also voiced Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. He also voices Lightning McQueen in those Mater shorts, Reaper in Overwatch, Lord Hater in Wonder Over Yonder. Ah, animation is so hard! People People who do this for a living deserve more credit and respect! And Papa G in Kid Cosmic. It's genuinely incredible how much of a range that Keith has, and I'm honestly shocked we don't talk about him as a voice actor, then we probably should. But with that being said, if there's one voice he can't do, it's Will Ferrell's. He was so clearly just not the right choice for Megamind. Was there really no one to replace Will Ferrell in this role? No one out there that sounds just a little like him? Because this just ain't it, Chief. You have Josh Brenner voicing Minion. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, old chomp. Fuck off, he's still Minion. Again, talented voice actor, but the whole time he speaks, I just hear Donatello from Rise of the TMNT. It's pretty distracting. Laura Post voices Roxanne, and I think she's the best fitting replacement, actually. She fits the role well enough. But then we have the new characters. Yes, I'm well aware Scott Atsit, aka Baymax, voices a character in this movie. So because this movie reminds me of Big Hero 6, I'm now obligated to hate it even more. The rest of the cast is nothing special, but here's one weird fact that caught me off guard with this movie. The character named Nighty Knight. Yes, this is a real character someone created. This is the reality we live in. When I first heard their voice, I thought for sure that it was Patrick Warburton, but I thought he sounded off. So I did some digging, and on Wikipedia, it says the character is voiced by Talon Warburton. And when you click on the name, it just takes you to Patrick Warburton's profile. So clearly this meant that Patrick was so embarrassed to be a part of this project that he asked for a different name to try and hide his involvement in it. That would have been the funniest thing about this movie if it wasn't for the fact that I later scrolled down his profile and discovered that it's actually just his son. So it wasn't Patrick Warburton doing the voice, it was his son who sounds almost exactly like his father. Again, I just thought I'd share that based on how surreal that was to find out. This movie also has Todd Habercorn in it, who is the English voice of Jocko in Dragon Ball Super. Now, that's a very interesting coincidence because this movie was released on March 1st. And Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, died on March 1st which is even more proof that everything about this movie was a mistake. This movie doesn't even acknowledge the first movie. Not really. Sure, there's an opening narration that goes, hey, remember the first movie? Remember how good the first movie was? Don't you want to just go watch that movie again? Did I get it? They also bring up how like twice or something, I don't know. Outside of those small things, this might as well just be its own separate entity. Megamind is suddenly an asshole who doesn't appreciate the people around him. Remember when he and Minion had that fight in the last movie over for Megamind liking Roxanne and wanting to not be a villain anymore. Remember that? <laughs> no you don't, because this movie is not a sequel. Unless nostalgia needs to be cashed in in some way. Megamind never had a supervillain team, he never had a mentor, oh and I'm pretty sure he knew how to work a toaster. Look, Megamind wasn't street smart, but he was book smart. He could create all these fancy gadgets and cool weapons, but in this movie he can't work a fucking toaster. What? Just like in typical Dragons the Nine Realms fashion, this movie is motivated by idiot plot. Yes, there is an actual term for this level of abysmal writing. It's called idiot plot. Oh no, how am I gonna stop all of these villains from destroying the city? Oh, I don't know, how about with the dehydration gun that you use in this fucking movie? Oh no, how do we defeat Jormungandr and stop him from destroying the world? Oh, I know, we'll use this multi-million dollar company to synthesize venom that can be used to paralyze it. But then we'll use a fucking ballista like it's 1348 or something! They are one and the same. Megamind and Dragons of the Nine Realms might as well be brothers. Only closer.
the movie will ignore every logical choice that a five-year-old would make in that situation simply because the movie needs to happen. If we just had Megamind zap these guys with his dehydration gun, the movie would be over. It really would be that easy, uh, but we went through all the effort to hype up a movie, so we gotta deliver. Whee! Oh, you should have! Yay, you should have! I mean, Dad! You really shouldn't have! Even though this feels less like a movie and more like a pilot for the TV series, which I'm not watching, by the way, I don't care. I'm just, I'm just plain not interested in what I can already tell is just another Dragons the Nine Realms. For you see, How to Train Your Dragon meant something to me. It was special. And then, Dragons the Nine Realms had to come in and just shit all over it. But Megamind, I'm sorry, I'm just not all that passionate about. And it seems like everyone else feels the same way about this. I don't care about this stupid brain that was apparently his mentor or whatever. I don't care about this dumbass kid whose entire backstory is told to us like we're fucking infants. I don't care about Megamind and Roxanne's will they won't they bullshit even though they got together in the last movie, but you get it. Was there anything in this movie that I liked? Actually, yes. Three jokes. I liked three jokes in this movie. Your gadgets are like the Titanic, a total disaster. <laughs> How dare you? The Titanic was a delight for most of the journey. That was a good line. I liked that one. Uh, there was this cute visual gag of the mime grabbing an invisible ice cube and then putting it in an invisible cup. That made me smirk a bit. I liked when Megamind walked out of the donut shop only to turn around and just grab a bunch of donuts and leave. That's it. That's all the things that I got out of this movie, and yet I can think of 20 different jokes from the first movie's first 20 minutes that wiped the floor with them. Megamind 2 didn't make me angry or violent or anything like that. It just left me feeling numb. When I heard everyone dunking on it when it was first announced, a part of me was actually kind of excited. I thought it would be a real challenge for me to go up against. But sadly, that wasn't the case. It's definitely awful, but it's a certain brand of awful that I've had to put up with for the last two years, and I'm just sick of it. Besides, I already have a bastardized cash-grabby sequel that I am far more passionate about that I'll be talking about very soon. As for Megamind 2, I'm honestly not going to remember a thing about it. It's just more Dragons the Nine Realms. And by this point, it's just boring to me. Megamind? More like Mega... Uh... Fuck you. Whatever, I'm finished here. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, oh, oh.